Hey guys, Crazy Dave here. Well, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna actually take that smoked cauliflower that I did a couple days ago, and now I'm gonna go ahead and steam them real quick, and I'm gonna make the cauliflower hash browns. Well, what are some of the ingredients? I've got about a cup of shredded cheese mixed in with some shredded Parmesan cheese. Got two cloves of garlic that I'm gonna press in my garlic press. I got some smoked cheese that I smoked with apple wood a few months back. One cup of flour, two eggs, and I've got some fresh sea salt and some fresh peppercorn. These are the ingredients that we're gonna use to make the cauliflower hash brown. Well, stay tuned, and I'll walk you through step by step. The cauliflower had finished steaming, so now I put it into a strainer to drain off the water. Now that the water has drained off, I added them into my mixing bowl, and I'm gonna mix it until it's nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna slowly add the ingredients one by one. Now into the mix, I'm gonna add the two eggs, and let that blend it really well. Now I add the crushed garlic into the mix. Sometimes it'll, it'll get stuck here. Just dump it in and let it mix some more. So now we're gonna add the flour just a little bit at a time. Let it mix a little bit and keep adding it slowly until it starts to mix. Now we're gonna start sprinkling in the shredded cheese and let that mix in. Now we're going to add some fresh pork sea salt. And we're just going to keep going a little bit, and it's just done until we're taste. Keep going. Next, some fresh peppercorn. And as you see, as the mixture is grabbing it, you can see a little bit of the peppercorn floating. So keep grinding away again to your taste. Next, we took the smoked cheese and we kind of diced it up. I'm going to dice it up into a little tiny cube. I'm going to slowly add to the mixture. Because the mixture is still hot, this cheese will still melt very well. Just like this. Add a little bit of cube at a time. Add the bowl that's mixing around and stirring. It will melt into the mixture. Okay, next. Now that the cauliflower has been mixed up and mashed really well, we're going to start a pan and we're going to get it nice and hot, but we're going to use some organic coconut oil. Now, of course, you can use any oil you like when you're cooking your cauliflower hash browns. So this is what the cauliflower hash brown mixture looks like when it's all mixed up. Now we're going to grab a spoon or a small measuring cup and start measuring small portions into the frying pan to make the hash browns. Now we make sure that the pan is nice and coated and we're going to take one little dollop and we're going to add it into the actual pan. And just let it kind of sit there for a little bit. Move the oil around so it's coated on all sides. After a few minutes, you'll notice that the edges here are starting to turn brown. That's an indication of when you start to try to flip it. And look at that, it looks perfect on one side. So we're gonna let this cook on the other side for about maybe two minutes or so. We'll remove it, and then we'll continue to make the cauliflower hash browns. Well, that's how you make Crazy Dave's cauliflower hash browns. Enjoy.